welcome to PP18, the plenipotentiary conference of ITU at Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today uh, by the Honorable Ursula Owusu Kufuor, who is the Minister of Communications for Ghana. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you at the PP18 in Dubai. Now, as we know, there's considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, or ICTs, as an enabler for good, for development of uh, the benefit for the benefit of people, families, communities, and nations. I wanted to find out what's your personal perspective on this. I think it is in the, I, ICTs are indispensable for socio-economic development in every sector. And um, having seen the transformations that it is um, occasioning around the world, it will be foolhardy to opt out. And so we're seeing it enhancing education, health, e-commerce. It is making life easier for our peasant farmers around the country. Small businesses are being enabled and facilitated by ICTs. I really don't know how we managed without it in the past. But it has only been a few short years ago that we, in, within that time that we've seen this phenomenal um, enhancement and, and, and of, of technology in, in all sectors of our economy. And so it can only get better. And I'm looking forward to even greater uptake of technology in everything that we do and, uh, and, and introducing our, our young people to it at an even uh, earlier age in the kindergartens so that they get used to it and becomes more hands-on for them. We've seen how they've transformed lives around the countryside and it can only get better. Now this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed on the sustainable development goals. I wanted to ask you, perhaps you could provide a few examples of how ICTs is driving sustainable development in Ghana. Our president is a co-chair of the UN SDGs advocacy group. And so he's very, very keen that we utilize um, uh, the uh, technology to enable us to I get the, the SDGs implemented within, or attain those goals within the time set for it by 2030. And so we're seeing uh, in, in our national identification program, we're utilizing ICTs. We've set up a digital property address system to formalize our economy, and it is to enable us to digitize our economy within the, f the fastest possible time. And it is also through um, I I I ICTs to enable us attain those goals within the that time. We're also utilizing it in education, in health. We're assisting our physically challenged to also have a better standard of living using ICTs in the way they, they, they educate themselves. And um, in e-governance, we're bringing governance closer to the people by utilizing ICTs. For us, it is not a question of whether we need it or not, but how much of it can we utilize and within what period. And so that's actively what we're, we're trying to do. And um, we see that without it, all other sectors would suffer. And so if we aim to develop in any sector at all, we can do so faster by use, utilizing ICT. So it is a sine qua non for socioeconomic development and to create an even playing field for everybody. Um, we need it. And something that we've been very much aware of over the last uh, few years has been very much the digital divide. Apparently now about half the world's population are connected to the internet, the other half is not. What is Ghana doing to get everyone connected? That's a key priority of the Kufuadu government uh, in Ghana. And we've focused actively on it within the last two years. And so we're utilizing our universal service funds in collaboration with the private sector to deepen connectivity around the countryside. And this year alone, we managed to connect up to two million people who were otherwise unconnected. We worked with an equipment manufacturer and, and an IT company and a mobile network operator to develop a unique system which they call the Rural Star, which has enabled us to deepen penetration in our rural areas phenomenally. We're quite proud of it. They call me the mother of Rural Star and it, it, it's, 
it um, encourages me. Because when you see what being connected has done to our rural populations around the countryside, young people being able to learn and, and do research on the internet, uh, peasant farmers able to sell their produce online, the uptake of digital financial services and mobile money around the country which has transformed lives. It's something that we um, are determined to, to continue and hopefully within the next two, three years, every part of the country will be connected with voice telephony and high-speed affordable data services to enable us all leapfrog into development. Now we saw you get up on the stage today and uh, very eloquently uh, put some points across uh, with regards to uh, digital development in Ghana and, and your aspirations. I just wanted to ask you perhaps in a nutshell if you could uh, just really give a, a small message to both the participants here again and, and, and to the wider audience. I was just um, discussing with someone what a wonderful opportunity the ITU provides for all of us to share experiences, to learn from one another, to kind of copy what others are doing and be encouraged when we realize that we are really on the right track and are doing things that have worked in other places or when others can also learn something from our experiences. So it's wonderful to be part of this community and we want to continue to, to work within the council to also um, deepen the impact that we're having on lives around the world. And yes, today, everybody realizes that without um, the work that we do, uh, deepening access to voice and data connectivity around the globe, the entire world economy would grind to a halt. So in my opinion, we're the most important industry in the whole world because we make every other industry work. Well, your presence here is very important and thank you very much for joining us in the studio and wish you the very best in the future. Thank you. Thank you too. It's always a pleasure to be with you. That's great. Thank you.